Today we're going to look at the natural logarithm function. So, a natural logarithm function um, its base is the irrational remember irrational numbers those are right, they um, never repeat, right? Like pi square root of three, stuff like that. Irrational number. This one, oops, not number, but number e. So that's that's the letter there, um, which. has an approximate value, right? We have to approximate when they don't repeat, just like we do with pi sometimes. An approximate value of 2.71828. Um, okay, so this is another uh, number that they discovered happens um, naturally. Um, they were always coming up with this 2.7182, you know, and it went on and on and on. And so they decided to name it, much like they did with pi. Um, all right, so E, that's your natural logarithm base. So everything is base E now. So before we had base 10, we had base 2, base 3, base 4. This time it's base E. Okay, that's the only difference. Everything works the same. It's just that it has a base E and it looks a little bit different. So you're going to see something that's ln of x. And ln of x is just um, like a, a, a shortened term for log base E of x. These two are the same. Okay, they're the same. It's just a log base E. They show it like this. All right, so if you see this, you know you have a log base E. Just like if you see log with no base, you know you have a base 10. Okay, so that's what this one looks like. All right, so let's compare and contrast um, some other bases that we've dealt with. So we're going to compare, contrast. Okay, so um, this is working with with base two logs. Okay, and we're going to compare that to working with base e logs. And I'm going to show you that they're the same. Everything you do is the same. It's just you're dealing with this E. And you just basically just need to understand how to handle it. Okay? So, um, if, if log base 2 of x equals 5, okay, so we have this type, and we know that if x is here, um, what we need to do is change to exponential form. So we know that um, then, remember a log is just asking you about an exponent, that's all it is. The exponent is five. Okay, so two to the fifth then equals x. If, so here's our, here's our comparison here. Okay, we'll see if there's any contrast. Um, if ln of x equals 5, then, and remember it's a base e. Okay, I'm going to put a little e. Uh, red pen, red pen, way down here. Okay, I'm just going to put a little e in here, just so you remember. Remember it's a base e. 
and I'm just going to change to exponential form. So if I change to exponential form, what I end up with, just like I did here, I have, here's my base, here's my exponent. Well, guess what? Here's my base, here's my exponent. It's not a number that I uh, readily know, like this one being, what, 32, but it's a number nonetheless. It's 2.71828, right? Approximated to the fifth power. So we have e to the fifth equals x. And that's changing over to exponential form. That's my answer, e to the fifth. That's just the answer. Okay? Here's another one. Um, if 2 to the x equals 7, then, so this time I'm going to go into logarithmic form, right? Because I'm in exponential form. I'm going to go to logarithmic form. Or remember, a log is just asking about an exponent. So what I would say then is log, and remember the base is always the base. So log base 2 of 7 equals x. All right? Okay, let's see how that one compares. So if e to the x equals 7, instead I, I had a, a 2, right? Now I have an e. Um, then, then, in ln or log base e, and I'm going to change it to ln because that's what ln means. Ln of seven equals x. And doing it the same way. The only problem here is that you know, or the contrast of it is that it has a, a different looking way of writing log, and that's just so we know it's a natural log. Um, what if I have this log base 2 of 2 to the 5th equals 5? Okay. And we know that this equals 5 because we know we could use law 3, put the 5 down here, right? Move the 5 over, 5, log base 2 of 2 equals 5. Yeah, well log base 2 of 2 is 1, right? So I know that 5 equals 5. Same thing with over here. What I have is ln e to the fifth. This one also equals 5 for the exact same reasons. Because ln, or I'm going to change it to log base e of e, I'm going to use law 3 and put my 5 down here. Well, if these two match, we know then that we have 1, right? So what we're going to end up with then is 5 equals 5. So go ahead and get those notes. And we'll look at some other stuff. All right. to get the value of that. Okay. So if they want to get the value of that, you can do what we've done before, and we just say um, equals x. Okay, so number one is equals x. Uh, number two, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change to exponential form. 
right? Exponential form. So when I change the exponential form, when I change the exponential form, what I have then is ln is log base e, right? I'm going to write it in little. Okay, I'm going to actually I'm going to take that back. I'm going to write log base e e to the negative second is what that really looks like. So when I go to exponential form, I know my base is e. It's asking me a log is just asking about its exponent. That x goes there. And this whole thing then is going to go to the other side. Well, if the e's match, right, then the exponents must also be equal. So I know in this case that x equals negative 2. Okay. Um, that's one way that you can look at that type. All right. Um, the, the other, you know, there's another possible way you can look at this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do this one another way and show you, so you can, you get to choose what you like. Um, if I said equals x, I could use law three and say negative two ln e equals x negative two log base e of e equals x, and we know that goes to one, right? If these match, I have one and negative two, then equals x. A couple, you know, just a couple of different ways you could look at it. Okay, um, here's another one. Um, natural log of one equals x. So this is a one. A bit more of a one look here. Um, I'm going to change the exponential form. Basically, I need to change the exponential form every time because that's how I'm going to solve it. So changing the exponential form, you know, I'll go ahead and write um, here. I'm going to do a little thought bubble here. So here's my little thought bubble. That um, log base e, right, of 1 equals x. When I put it in exponential form, I know that my base is e. They're always asking about an exponent. And this number here goes on the other side. So e to the x equals 1. Well, now you just need to think about it for a second. Uh, what is the only exponent that is going to get you 1 every single time you use it? What if you had 2 to the x equals 1? 3 to the x equals 1? What number is that? You remember? Ah, oh, yes. You're right. 0. So then half have to equal 0. Here's another one for you. These are just different types. That's just the way it goes. There's a bunch of different types. Um, e to the natural log of 5 um, equals x. Well, this time, it's in exponential form. So I'm going to shift back to logarithmic form and see if I can figure out what it is. All right, so switching back to logarithmic form, I know I have log base e of x equals ln 5. I know, ln of 5, I know that this is ln. So if I have ln here and ln here, then I must have the fact that x then equals 5. So it's all about manipulating these. You're going from logarithmic form to exponential form, just like we've been doing all along. Okay? Here's another thought. Here's, um, we're going to do some solving. So hopefully you uh, went ahead and paused the video before I erased everything. You might have to go back, pause that video, and get the rest of the notes. Um, here's one on solving. So if I have ln x equals one third, okay. 
natural log of x equals one third. So if you're starting out with a natural log, you're going to need to change it to exponential form. That's how you're going to solve it. So I'm going to change it to exponential form. If I need the thought bubble, I can put the thought bubble here and say, oh, you know, ln, darn, why did they put it that way, is really that, right? Here's my little thought bubble. So that's what I really have, which is a lot easier for me to change to exponential form. So I know the base is always the base. A log is always talking about an exponent. Okay, an exponential form, this number here, right out here on the outside. So my answer is, is e to the one third equals x. If they want it in exponential form, if they want it in radical form, I can do that too. I don't have a problem. Uh, going in either direction. Okay, so that's one type that you might have to solve. So you have to refer to your notes a lot in this, unless you're good with the logarithms, and then you can uh, pretty much apply it. Um, if we have e to the 3x equals 27, okay, now this time I have x as an exponent, right? So, um, what I'm going to do then is this. I'm going to change it to exponential form. Uh, it's in exponential form, right? If it's in exponential form, uh, I probably have to go to logarithmic form. So, I'm going to say log base e right, of 27 equals 3x, or ln of 27 equals 3x, or if I'm solving for x, I'm just going to go ahead and divide by 3. Okay, so what I have then is 1 third ln of 27 equals x, but I'm going to use law 3. I'm going to go ahead and move that up here, so I have ln 27 to the 1 third equals x. Well, 27 to the 1 third is what? Oh, it's the cube root of 27. Well, what's the cube root of 27? Oh, 3. So ln of 3 equals x. All right, go ahead and pause that video and get the rest of those notes. All right, the, the last part of this, okay, this is it. There's not a lot of notes on it because really it's just the same thing we've been doing. It just has an E in, it, in the place of the number. Um, but the last piece is express as a single log. Oh, I like to write the whole word. I don't know why. All right, so let's look at this natural log of 5 minus natural log of 4 plus natural log of 12. Okay, same rules, same laws. We're doing the same thing. Okay, if I have subtraction, what goes with subtraction is division in the world of logs. So I'm going to have natural log of 5 fourths plus natural log of 12. Well, in the world of logs, what goes with addition is multiplication. So I'm going to say, well, natural log 5 fourths times 12. And then I can reduce within here. 4 goes into itself once and into 12 three times. What I end up with then is, as a single logarithm, it's ln um, of 15. And then that's my answer. So same uh, laws of logarithms that you're using. And just one more, and then you're done. Oh, shortest video ever. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to thank me tomorrow. Um, ln of three plus ln of four minus ln of six. Okay, so just expressing as a single logarithm. Um, I should put some exponents in there, huh? <coughs> oh, let me throw one in. I'm gonna put the two there. How's that? All right, I like that one. Okay, so ln of three squared now plus ln of four minus ln of six. Okay, I snuck a two in there. 
So you have to use law three first, right? Remember when we're when we're expressing as a single logarithm, we gotta go backwards in our laws. We start at three and then we're gonna go, you know, whatever, two, one, whatever we want. All right, so I have ln of nine now plus ln of four minus ln of six. And I might have created a horrible problem here, I don't know. Oh no, it didn't, works out perfect. All right, addition, um, in the log world, addition and multiplication actually go together. So I have ln of nine times four minus ln of six, or I have ln of 36, right? Nine times four is 36, minus ln of six. I know that in the log world, subtraction and division go together. So I have ln 36 divided by six, or I have ln of six as a single logarithm. All right, same rules, there's nothing different, nothing, or I don't, I think it's just confusing because it has that base E and it's not written log base E, it's right, written LN. So if you have trouble with that, then every time you see LN, switch it over to log base E. And maybe that'll help you. I don't know. All right, we will work on this in class. Good luck.